Today we're setting up the F. Well, I mean, the, it's already set up, but today we're adding fish into the African cichlid tank. You can see currently I've got these two little guppies in here. They've just been in here like testing the water, cycling it out, and you can see we've got a bunch of algae growing on the glass, growing on the rocks, and growing on the sand. So today I'm going to do a little maintenance on this tank, clean some of this algae off the glass. The rocks I'm really, really liking. I'm gonna keep the algae on the rocks. That's like the whole goal of this tank, to grow algae on the rocks, and the African cichlids will kind of graze on it whenever they're hungry, and I'm, I'm super excited for this. I can't wait for this tank to be finally done. And I mean, it's probably never going to be done. We're going to add like today we're only adding the first few fish but in the future when i find the other fish that i want we're going to add more in this tank right now i can only find a certain type of fish i can't find the other ones that i want so today we're going to move these guppies out and add the african cichlids and where the african cichlids are right now are they are in here they've been in this tank for quite a while a couple of months quarantining and also growing them out I got them as tiny little babies, and you can see there's uh, seven of them. There's one guy over there. Yeah, so we're going to add them into their new home, and it's going to be a huge upgrade compared to this little tank. I think I'm just realizing something. I think one of my African cichlids might have babies. If you look at this guy, if you don't know, African cichlids are mouth brooders, and what that means is that they carry their eggs and their little babies in their mouths. Um, when they breed, after they breed. And you can see, I think it was this guy, but this guy has like a mouth that's, that, that, that looks like it's mouth brooding babies. You can see it's kind of like, um, swelled up. I think it might be carrying eggs or babies, but these guys look so small. I don't know if they're even able to breed at this size. They're only a couple of centimeters, so I'm not sure if they're even able to breed right now because African cichlids can get quite large. So I'm not sure if that, look at this guy. This guy's one of my favorites. He's a cool looking one with the black fins. Yeah, but I'm not sure. That guy might be holding eggs. So if it is, then that's kind of cool. But also I was not expecting that at all. So yeah, let's uh, just quickly get these guys out of here and into the new tank. Maybe I'll just move six of them and leave the one that's carrying the eggs. I'm not even sure if it's carrying eggs, but I'll just leave that guy in there and see how he does for the next few days and yeah, we'll move the others into the bigger tank. Alright, so I'm gonna keep this guy in this tank just for a couple of days, make sure he's doing alright, and then right now I'm drip acclimating the other guys you can see them in here, really beautiful, bright yellow fish. I love these guys so much. These yellow labs are amazing. So while I'm drip acclimating them, I'm gonna clean the glass um, of this tank, and then we'll move the guppies out, and the yellow labs can go into their brand new home. It's been a good 45 minutes of acclimation. I think the fish should be good and ready to go into their new tank. It's gonna be so exciting to put them in there and see them all swimming around. You can see the glass is nice and clean now. There's no more algae. And also, I ended up not doing a water change. I thought it wasn't necessary, so I just topped up the water a little bit. And yeah, now let's just go and add the fish in. All right, we got two here. I think one of them is my favorite. This black coloration isn't showing right now, but... Come on, swim out. There you go. And there, so that's two. All right, we've got three right here. One, two, three, perfect. One more, and they're so tiny in this tank. Man, we definitely need to add more. These guys will grow too, so we can't add too much more, but seven in this tank is it's just uh, it's, it's a bit too little. Yeah, check this guy out. Animal. There's so many little areas for them to go swim in and out of. This guy is just out in the open area. Probably too shy, too shocked to move right now. But yeah, this tank is gonna be so awesome. Imagine this tank just full of color swimming around the rocks and it's gonna be such a 
joy to watch. Just imagine a bunch of yellow and blue fish swimming around in this tank, just swimming around all the rocks and going in and out. It's gonna be so, oh my gosh, look at this. What? How on earth did they even find that spot there? That is crazy. Wow. Man, this is why I love African cichlids. They can dig holes too, and I don't have to worry about them collapsing the rocks because I've made sure they're sturdy and stable and they're not going to move even if they move the sand around, so there's nothing to worry about that. But these yellow labs are going to be so fun to watch, and we need to add some blue fish into this tank. I'm thinking of getting Demisoni cichlids or Demisonis. I'm not so sure how you say it, but those guys are dwarf embunas. And they can be quite aggressive and territorial, but if you have the right ratio of male to females, it should be good. And they, they go really well with yellow lab cichlids. Yellow labs, if you don't know, I'll put the full name up on the screen right here. But they're one of the more peaceful African cichlids. Look at them right there. So cute. But they're one of the more like peaceful type of Afri African cichlids. And they go well with most other African cichlids. So this is going to be an embuna tank. And embuna are a type of African cichlids. They're rock dwellers. They like to go in and out of rocks. So Demison Demisonis were the other fish that I was planning to get for this tank. But what I really, really wanted from the start were the Pseudotrophius cellosi, also known as the Chindongo cellosi. And those were the ones I really wanted because the males are a nice bright blue and black color and the females are yellow color. I'll put the image up right here. But those are the ones that I wanted and if I were to get those I'd only have that in the tank because blue and yellow that's enough for me and that would be a perfect combination. But I have not been able to source that fish, the Pseudotrophia cellosi. So my next closest option if I want yellow and blue fish are yellow labs and Demisoni, so that's kind of the reason why I want those two fish. And we can add a few other types if I'm able to find them. I'm not a huge fan of those like super common ones, the orange zebras or the red zebras. I do like the rusty cichlid, the brown color, they look like rust. Those are super cool and I really want those but I can't find those anywhere as well. Like I don't know why those aren't common here. The ones that I want I can't seem to find except yellow labs and Demisoni, I've seen them before but currently I can't find them, so yeah, it's gonna be a while until I can get those other guys. But maybe we'll add a couple more yellow labs into this tank. I think we can fit a good school of them. All right, so it's been about a week since that last clip. We've added all the African cichlids. I was just about to say angelfish, I don't know why, but we've added all the, the six, six? Yeah, six yellow lab African cichlids in there, and they've been doing amazing. Well, wait, has it been a week? I think it's been more than a week because look at all the algae growth. You can see the algae has grown back already. Uh, it's it's gonna happen because we've got light on this tank and no plants, nothing to really like suck up all the nutrients that are in this tank. And I haven't been doing many water changes, but you can see the African cichlids, they look incredible, especially this guy right here. They are doing so well. And I think they're getting bigger too, and they should be because they've got this whole tank to themselves for the time being, and they can just grow up and get big in this tank. So yeah, really cool. You can see uh, five of them right now, and there's gotta be a sixth one. Sometimes one hides under this rock, which is really cool, but there's so many areas for them to hide in, and it's so fun watching these guys play around in this tank. So I can't wait to add more fish into this tank. I haven't been able to find more embuna to add into this tank. So I'm gonna slowly look for more embuna. But let me give you an update on this guy right here. This yellow lab that we didn't take out because I had a feeling he was holding some eggs or babies. And today I just looked at him just a moment ago and he, his mouth is huge wherever he is. I'm not so sure where this guy is hiding right now, probably behind that sponge filter, but that guy, let, let me try to get him out for you guys, but his mouth is bigger than ever, and I was quite surprised today. Yeah, he's back there, but it's kind of tough doing this with one hand, so I apologize. And I didn't know that they can breed at such a small and young age, so if they can, that's amazing. Yeah, let me know if you guys have any experiences with African cichlids breeding at such a young age and at a very small size, but take a look at that. 
you can really see his mouth is kind of like swelled up. It's kind of hard from the angle that he's at, but yeah, I really think he's holding something in there, so. I know this wasn't the most exciting video. We just added a few fish that I already had in the fish room into the African cichlid tank, the yellow labs, and they look amazing, but six fish in this tank is really, really like nothing. Look at them. You can't even see them right now. They're in that corner, but yeah, there's, there's no activity in this tank. Now there is, but yeah, it's really hard to see these fish. Like with an African cichlid tank, you want there to be lots of fish swimming around. And with African cichlid tanks, you really kind of want to over overstock them. Or you could have very minimal fish, but that isn't really fun to watch. And overstocking them is really a normal thing with African cichlids. I've had a few comments saying that I shouldn't do that, but African cichlid tank, you overstock them, it spreads out the aggression, and it's kind of a good thing. Of course, I'm not gonna overstock it to where there's like a few hundred fish in this tank. It's gonna be more like maybe 20, 30 fish. Well, maybe not 30. 30 is a bit much, but... I'm thinking of something more towards 15 to 20 fish. I think that'll be a perfect amount in this tank. And look at them, they are so awesome swimming to my hand, but... Yeah, also Ambunas, the fish that I plan to... Well, I already have Ambunas in this tank, but... The more ambunas that I plan to add into this tank, they, they are a peaceful type, or well, more peaceful type of African cichlid compared to the other types out there. So I think it'll be good uh, to have a bunch more in here, and I think it's going to be really, really fun to watch this tank grow in the future. And yeah, it, it's going to be incredible. As always, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, comment something positive down below, and if you want to support this channel even more, you can consider becoming a member, and I'll see you guys next time.